Uh, as you dismount and approach the, ho- the house where bandits are holed up, you hear a voice inside say, what was that? Uh-oh. Looks like you're going to have to be sneaky if you want to afford a full-on fracas. Uh, no, I was just kidding. From the, so- from the sound of it, you would say this doghouse contains an angry dog. This doghouse contains an angry dog. Uh, very funny. You're not going to be able to get past it without learning the game. Bring him on. <laughs> I legitimately just do enjoy combat. Alright, let's buff up. Art house, Rufus rough house, and coffee house. Oh no. Please, not a roadhouse. Crack shoot, or crack shot even. Or build cover, usable once per fight. There's this thing that I like. Um, you'll never take us live, and also we'll never pay for this house. Right, no action points. Alright, if we can slow down the rate at which we lose health, that might be useful. Because now only one of them will be, or two of them will be shooting me a turn. Just to make sure we survive it. Probably should have done this sooner. Now we get the big rolls. Justice has been served to the old house game. Bag of ears and such in the Desert Gang 6 gun. What do we got? We got 36 unspent experience. Hmm. Plus one Moxie. This is a fancy six gun. You might go so far as to rate it as a seven gun. Oh yeah, this is the first new episode back with my uh, with my new hair. I kind of didn't want to have a. Uh, how do they have Brucephalus? I kind of didn't want to have a um, like just a a. Okay, I spelled Brucephalus right. I think that was the name of the horse of Alexander. <clears throat> Hear a rustling sound and char- uh, trace it to a nearby gulch. Over the edge, you see a goblin rustling around the brush. Presumably a gulch goblin rustler? Always assume that referred to a different sort of rustling, though. He looks up at you and makes some angry goblin noises. A moxious goblin. I always really love that moxie can be shortened to moxious. <laughs> Got a goblin sandwich and 29 meat. You call up with the goblin and find some goodies in the shrubbery he was rustling. This is both a salvage for a goblins and a sandwich where the meat is goblin. Right, we're not... This is certainly a bag of seg- severed ears and teeth and such. Which gang was this? House in the desert. I'll take your word for it. Good job. Thanks a bundle. One of the Potemkin gang for unlicensed civil engineering and flaunting of construction reg- uh, regulations. 
Last seen in an unregistered settlement north of Dirtwater. Cool. All right, yeah, we can just go there. By the way, the map is huge. Like, huger than you may have thought. But yeah, I've decided that I will play this game as I expect. Needle. I, yeah, I'm going to play this game as I would have played it myself. Bar of soap and a lasso. Button cactus. Between the smoke and the noise, you're guessing the contents of this outhouse are more dangerous than average outhouse contents. It's a demon cow. A pyrobo. Hmm. <laughs> The outhouse is now safe as houses. Outhouses. By the soft light of the fading embers, you see a glint of light from below. You hold your nose with one hand as you fish out your prize with the other. Susie carves another notch in the stock of her rifle. Cow hate flashes in her eyes. Her resolve intensifies. Susie has become stronger. Way to go. Uh, yeah, there's this thing where, um, stench damage and five poison. I'll put it on instead of the sword. Unless I can't. Oh, right. Pistol and weapon are their own thing. Uh, forgot about that. Mary Stearns. Gwendolyn Stearns. Jethro Stearns. Yeah, there's this cool mechanic where, like, everyone only levels up. Lockbox. True to the name, it is locked. Um, everybody only levels up. I'm using a lot of bean shield, so let's do that, huh? When you do the most appropriate thing for them. All the books on the shelf are burned, but you know something strange about the back of the shelf. Do I have one, Moxie? I have seven. There's a book inside, Mary Stern's Diary. Your deaf fingers find a hidden catch, and the back panel of the shelf slides away to reveal a hidden compartment. The toy box contains a single object, a creepy burnt porcelain doll. It's a work of the moment to fix the doll's voice box. You pull the string, the doll's eyes roll back into its head, and its mouth begins to move. Hi, I'm Grace. What's your name? I'm Arizona. Hi, Arizona, you're nice. You want to play with me? Yeah. Hooray, Mary used to play with me, but we didn't get to finish our tea party. Will you help me finish it? Surely. Hooray, the game is almost over. Mary did a good job. Go downstairs and get my cup. Do you know the magic word to make the mean cow let you into the secret room? It's peanut butter. Got it. You shudder as you realize talking dolls have not been invented yet. This is the diary of Mary Stearns. The AI and dairy are crossed out with IA written above them. The diary starts out as typical kid stuff. You flip ahead until you notice the writing gets shakier. Found a dolly under a cactus out back and told and she told me her name was Grace. Mom and Papa don't believe she talks. They say I got a big imagination. Grace says the cows are gonna get us, but Papa says we'll be okay. Because this weren't never a cow ranch. Grace says he's wrong, but Papa won't believe me. Grace says she can keep the cow away, but I have to play a tea party with her. I don't like the kind of tea party, but Grace says it's important to keep the cows away. Mom was sad they couldn't find Effie. Papa said she's been going on so long that she put a cross up, but Mama will let him because she thinks she'll come back. Papa says she's only 11, how far could she have gone, and Mama start crying again. Don't want to play tea party anymore, but Grace says I have to. Papa was out two days looking for Joey, but he didn't find him. Mama cries so much. I try to tell him that him and Effie are keeping the cows away, but she don't understand. I told Grace I'm not playing tea party again, but she says I got it, and if I don't, cows will eat all three of us. She said either I get Mama or Papa to play, or else I gotta play by myself. Last entry. Blackened beans. Oh, I could go for some beans. Plate of beans that got left in a fire for a few weeks. They're still edible, but you could use them as stove fuel on a pinch. Increases your spell damage by five. Ooh, let's go for it. Fire spreads outward from your belly. Beaned, blackened, hot. So yeah, all of these, all of these uh, characters will only level up when they do their appropriate thing. So like, if I had gotten Gary the Goblin off the top of my head here, 
um <clears throat> you would need to buy like goblin items i think it's like um you buy goblin whatever the opposite of fungicide is because goblins are made of uh, spores and fungus in this world you buy whatever um that is and uh in doing so, that'll let him grow, like physically grow, and, and get stronger. Nothing left. Damn those devils. Kind of redundant. I don't see any bodies. Just the graves out front. Hope whoever dug them got away. Yeah. If we were looking to move on westward, I reckon the train's the way to go. Didn't the map the hostel gave you have a marker for railroad camp? Any other ideas? Deal with the Potemkin gang. So yeah, that's how we can just, you know, read all of our, uh, our stuff. What in the Sam Hill? What's the set? What's this cow skull pinned on the wall for? That's a little weird, yeah. Who would do a thing like that? Why? Hmm. Clove drops and cat eye candy. This is candy you desperately hope is not made of real cat eyes. Little balls of sugar infused with clove. Who would do this? Uh, whisper peanut butter. Stern's Ranch Altar Room. Atop this sinister looking altar sits a copper goblet filled with what appears to be blood. You don't know what this is, but you know it's abominable. You grab the goblet and smash it against the altar. Everywhere the blood lands, cracks appear. The altar groans as it crumbles into ruin. You gain 50 XP and how? Got anything for me? Another ranch burned down by friggin' cows. Damn, that seems to be something fierce. Guess we should check for survivors. Oh, not here. You. Her eyes glow red. She know she must know what you did. You'll live to forget this. Hee <laughs> hee. Her mouth snaps shut and her eyelids close. Yeah, there are. Like, this game isn't, like, perfect, but it is still really solid. Um, I greatly enjoy that, like, uh, the way that this game is handled. As you turn a corner, you come face to face with three bandits pushing a large barrel marked TNT down the trail. The four of them stare at each other for a while, unsure to of how to deal with this potentially violent happenstance. Fools. Nice. Sorry, I got a crick in the neck. Got black hat and black denim pants and 30 meat. One armor. Versus my one mysticality. Dyed black to make it easier to dress casually at night. Dangerous spider. Dangerous spider, hmm. One of us better watch the horses. They ain't gonna do uh, much good dragging to a hole somewhere. Wait here and chat if I need you. I also like that they have just set up a thing where, um. I still don't have that crowbar. Damn. Weapons in black paint. Fancy knife. It's mostly full of packing straw, but there's a fancy knife at the bottom. You hear a big chittering come from the big hole behind you. Yeah. What does this do? Moxie. You must have a death wish standing this close to this thing. You should leave right now before that spider eats you. No way you're going back in there. I guess this is one of those things where you get one. That's all right. <laughs> Guy's got a board. That's good. Good gag. I like that. Okay, you're really pushing your luck here. If you get any closer, they're going to attack you. Okay.
Judy Dawkins. Low rolled it. Not bad. Damn, that armor's really solid. Let's work on you. And let's ensure a kill on you. Though now that I think of it, maybe I should have uh, attacked uh, somebody who can who's gonna shoot me instead of like hit me with a board. That's certainly what I would do in real life, especially if I had like magical spells. Sorry, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Sorry. It's doing that thing. You put an end to the stripy hat gang's reign of bad taste. You take the leader's tattooed tooth as a means of identifying him, and you get a horrible hat as a souvenir. Uh, one of the teeth that was until recently in the mouth of the leader of the stripy hat gang. This hat's terrible, and everyone will hate you if you wear it. Minus three moxie. That's funny. 